Good evening, everyone. My name is Chinin Mills, and I will be presenting to you today my synthesis presentation. Um, my presentation, I entitled it Project Save the Arts. Um, arts is a very important topic to me. Um, I think it is a very important uh, key component of our society and our community in the world that we live in. And I think as time has evolved and technology has become very saturated in this um, time that arts has gotten away from us. Um, and I think that we need to save it and bring it back. And it's very important in our education, our children, our communities, um, and all the societies that um, are upon us. So here we are. This is me, I'm China Mills, as I said before. I'm an interdisciplinary studies at UCF. Uh, my two focus areas are education in letters and language, um, AKA communication, it's just easier to say. Um, I am a minor in the dance program here at UCF. I am also a professional dancer. I dance with um, SGP Movement here in Orlando, Florida. And then I also um, am a teacher for many different uh, dance studios locally here in um, Florida and Orlando, and I'm an independent artist. Um, my movement is called Mills Movement. Um, I think my movement is just a free, like flow, multifaceted art. Um, it's just art, all types of art. I'm bringing, you know, awareness to the art community, um, studio art, film, dance, music, anything that you name. I am. This is what Mills Movement captures, and this is why this project is very important to me. So, um, for the project overview, um, the purpose of this synthesis um, has several aims for its readers. Um, it's to inform individuals of the issues that are going on in the art community. It is also um, trying to recognize the value of art itself. Um, and then the third aim is to basically make investments within the art and provide resources for career, for careers for creatives. Um, and then we need to advocate for um, programs at universities, just at, at UCF, our dance minor program currently is facing big, 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 big budget um, inadequacies. And we're trying to formulate a proposal to get us the right budgeting and the resources that we need for our program so that we can be successful as students within this university. So this is the project overview. Our project goals, you know, as stated before, is the three objectives, basically just a simple objectives, um, understanding what our education is, informing the issue of budget cuts and how they're affecting the uh, art community, and to encourage my peers to advocate for the increase in the value of art. So the background, like I stated before, um, it really stemmed from uh, being in the dance minor program and realizing that we are facing a tremendous amount of budget cuts within our program. Our program is kind of seen as just an organization here on, here on campus where versus an actual program. Um, our performing arts program is very BFA um, heavy. A lot of the money, resources, opportunities are all going towards the BFA program. Um, we have been facing a lot of different, um, just lack of resources, you know, no, not enough studio space for us to practice, you know, not able to have a adequate and nice venue for our dance spring concert. You know, we were put in a high school gym, I mean, a high school auditorium versus being at the Dr. Phillips Center, which is where the BFA has their place every single year. It's just a lot of things that has been brought to my attention as being a member of this program. So I just wanted to kind of relate the synthesis assignment to this, this topic. So, so the first thing we want to talk about are basically the concepts and some of the values and the things that kind of affect our education but um, budget cuts. Um, I think one of them is college academic majors. I don't think um, enough students are seeking majors in arts and humanities, which kind of goes into like our societal norms of how careers in sciences and math are seen to be more successful than in beneficial careers versus, you know, humanitarian um, careers where people are learning about communication and language and art and how art is uh, affecting the psychological element of 
the career choices that we are making. And then the societal norm, norms go into our, our demographics where it just depending on, you know, the popularity, popular majority of political parties in states. Um, so for example, like art in conservative states like Florida, you know, Alabama, Mississippi, those kind of states, those states are not really supported by political figures for the arts, you know, versus states like New York and California where art is very heavy in the culture. So politics are, politicians are supporting that movement because that it's a very it's saturated with a lot of art and culture there which takes us to the decrease in art value all art does not have the same artistic quality more money is invested into into entertainment rather than you know performing arts studio arts things like that so more money is being put into you know entertaining like for example concerts you know you see a lot of investments being made into concerts where celebrities are performing and people, you know, in in our culture now, in our society now, you know, social media, people, you know, idolize these celebrities and their entertainment versus, you know, true art where people are using their gift and crafting their hands into making art for museums and doing performance art for, you know, for orchestra or band or, you know, different things and elements like that. So I think these are all types of concepts that flow into why art, art is being cut in higher education. Um, through the lens, um, these are three lens factors that you can see um, that have, um, that have a kind of, these are the like the focal points of where we're getting with the, our education our education, and where it stems from. So obviously it comes from educational standpoint. You know, education focuses on the pedagogy, circular curriculum des design, and education policy. Um, this lens helps us to see how our education is structured within schools, its resources, and how it's allocated, the artistic artistic skills, and its appreciation. And understanding this framework allows us to see how it's developing for students cognitively. Um, another factor would be the sociology factor. Again, I mentioned a lot about society, societal norms, and how you know society shapes where art is going in the future. In society, um, the psych psychological role um, of this is that cultural institutions are promoting artistic ex ex Sorry, I'm sorry. It promotes artistic expression and the effects of artistic engagement on the social conscious and identity formation. Um, it helps with uncover, uncovering opportunities and how artistic learning can perpetuate an inequality and hinder social and cultural enrichment for individuals and communities. Our third lens is from an economic standpoint. Um, by studying the economic, economic um, point of view, we are allowed to see the investments in education, such as the dec decreased funding for arts programs and the, the how the opportunities are being you know, diminished for artists and policymakers and stakeholders and how we can help better grasp the long-term consequences of both the creative um, sector and the economy for the larger standpoint. Now to look into our, uh, like a more statistical standpoint with, you know, uh, some statistics. Um, we came up. We came across a um, a article called "Fine Art Engagement" by Daniel H. Bowen and Brian Casada, um, and it basically is telling us that you know school. Uh, it basically focuses on art engagement and art being in um, schools and the disciplinary uh, sector of it. So it says that you know thirteen point eight percent of um, students receive disciplinary infractions where there was a school with art programs versus schools who don't have art programs, the disciplinary, you know, infractions are higher at 17.4%. And then it says that, you know, school engagement by 8% of a standard deviation in students' emotional cognitive empathy growth by 7.2 and 3.9% of a standard deviation. So basically it's basically saying that, um, to compare students who are in uh, schools with art programs, their cognitive development is 
more than those who don't have, you know, a cognitive, I mean, a school with our education. So it's very important that we, you know, in factor and in, include our education in our school programs, because it's very important, you know, it, it allows the students to develop cognitively, cognitively differently than most, you know, versus math and, you know, the math and sciences are very rigorous courses and they, you know, have students in a narrow mindset, whereas art can formulate a bigger concept. It allows you to just think outside of the box. It, it, it initiates that creative mindset and how to navigate through life and not even through life, but through just courses in their academic careers in general. Um, so my conclusion for the project is basically in, interdisciplinary studies is a discipline that encourages us to create ways and formulate our passions and, and come up with something new and try to solve issues that are very prevalent in this time in our society. And that's why I decided to come up with Project Save the Yards because it's very important. You know, I'm suffering because of it. There's a lot of students who are suffering because there's no access to art in their schools. And I think that art is something that needs to be on the forefront of our society because it's going to elevate our society even more than we think it does. Um, and then I have a short little clip that I can play. I don't know if it's going to play or not. I don't think it's going to play. However, um, if you see my video, if I will present my presentation, I'll do two um, link so that way you can see the video but it's basically a uh link with my director and coordinator of the ucf dance minor program setting her stance on why education is very important to to higher education and it's a good outlook and i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and i hope that you will be more invested in learning about our and our our community and you know trying to save the arts with me Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.